everybody this is fox guild back with goblin camp demo they got a really big update about combat and whatnot for this demo i've been really waiting for them. they have a big demo for this um i'm still waiting for the information for the dev still about copyright for the music so there's gonna be no sound let y'all know with that but we're gonna jump straight in new game i delete my old file i don't want none of that let's just jump straight in new game new game we're gonna do standard um, we can't change any of this stuff here. Load it in. It can take a couple of minutes to load in. Now, if some people here remember the very old version of Goblin Camp, it used to be, I can't remember exactly where it's from, top of my head. We used to be a really old one or whatever. This is right here. The devs are remaking it based off of that, but also there's a little twist to it. Um, it is a small dev team and whatnot. So you'll have to let them understand it there, but there is a full version coming out soon. You want this on if you want to get this game in the demo, just look it down in the description down below. I will have the URL to the web page here. Um, if I remember right, I will have a in the description or a pinned comment of uh, their website as well because they have their own lore base behind it. It's really cool. Start into it. For untold ages, the ways between the worlds were shut. But now, it if, but now it is as if the wind bad blown, shaken the great tree, and the gates are opens again. Small man of curious goblins, ooh, fleeing the harsh rules of the goblin king of the underworld, has found a portal to the middle, to the middle realm. Beyond it is a beautiful but dangerous northern forest. The Curious Goblins would like to make a new home for themselves in here. It is now up to you to guide them on their journey in a new world. Uh, let me pause it real quick. Uh, one of the most important things to keep in your goblin is fed. If they get hu too hungry, they will leave. The instigator at the top left of your screen tells you if you're, if you're producing enough uh, food to feed your goblins. The number next to it is how many months your current your current currency have food supplies for it. If you're not producing enough food, it is a red X. Um, this right here. So food production uh, request per for you is negative twenty. I'm producing zero, so my food balance is negative twenty. Um. Food point stored six months. So it'll last. If I don't do nothing right now, it'll last easy until six months after that. There. But if I get more goblins in, that if I get more goblins in, that number also goes down as well. So there's that. If you are, you have at least 12 months supplies and a green check mark. Roll down. Goblins will eat by themselves, but they like to eat at a kitchen. Uh, kitchen goblins are great creatures and like to eat together at kitchens at the end of each se season uh, session. Kitchens are structures where cooking goblins will prepare food for the total number of camp and inhabitants equal to the kitchen's cap capability. Each goblin will be assigned a kitchen to eat at if they if they're at capability. Uh, the cook goblin will try to make sure that the meal includes all the required nutrients. The meal will also will always also always include something to drink. If a goblin doesn't have a kitchen to eat at, they will eat food they find in the camp. If they cannot find any food, they'll go hungry and eventually leave the camp. Okay. Once you've got some food, it's a good idea to build a kitchen. Note that in order to build a structure, you don't need to acquire the materials beforehand. Just select a structure, build it, and the goblins will get what they need. Notifications spears at the top of the screen contains important information for you. Take a look to get started. Um, getting your goblins something to eat. Right up here. Food stores. They would like their campus and produce enough food. Fishing is a good way for your goblins to eat. To get started, try building a fishery goblin shack near the river. Okay. Now let's go. Where's the river at? 
There is a river. Okay, so I haven't... This right here is the Fog of War. Most people have known about this playing video games nowadays. This is the Fog of War, but you can't see that far out. Besides the trees that pops up around it. But here's this. So we need to go to building. Um, we need... If we type in here, go... Type in fish. We can find the fishery. Uh, a simple fish stack once... One fishing shack generates fish jobs for one goblin. Okay. So we want it close to the water, but at the same time, this blue section there you see is where the path, the path is. So you do not want that block, whatever, or they can't get to it. So I'm using a SMD to move around the screen. Is it R to rotate? Q? Nope. Q and E to rotate the whole screen. Is it was his place? Cancel. Oh, it's tab to rotate. Okay. I thought it was always, I'm used to reading R or so. Um, let's go there. Let's start that up first. All the goblins there is going to cut down trees. So they can actually build this thing here. You can choose to harvest stuff. We don't have to. Um, while you're building that, we want a stockpile. Oh, yeah, for right. You can choose how big you want to stack pile at the beginning. Okay. Um, this is the entrance way here. So you do not want to block this here. You block this. The red guy is broken. Why not? Because this is the entryway back and forth. So let's build stockpile right there. They can start bringing resources they find and stockpiling. Um, you can see the job list. How do we see? Oh, there's overlay. Bird. Okay. So we want to build farms here and all around here. So we want to make sure we keep stuff in the non-fertile area. Oh. Pause. New discovery technology fishing. Strange... Straight away, hostile venuing to a boat house on the seashore. Look which care upon the fish hooks and the lines as will contains. Heaven returns. Okay. Ah, uh, it was a poem. I didn't realize it was a poem. Sorry, guys. Goblins learn to fish. Unlock fresh fish, fishing spears, fishing traps. Uh, fishing work shack. Technology is smoking. Okay, let's pause it again here. As your goblins find useful things in the new world, they will list. They'll be listed in the stock stock manager. You can also use the stock manager to select target for items. For example, if you found some mushrooms, you can set a target number for mushrooms in the stock manager, and your goblins will try to see that you have at least that many mushrooms at all times. This is really handy because you want to make sure certain things have it, like. More later on down the line, we'll get into more detail for it. But goblins are clever creatures. Well, so, well, sometimes they can figure out how to make things. So you don't need to set stock manager target for opponents. For example, if your goblins build a stone, if you want your goblin to build a stone axe, you don't need to set a target for branches. The goblins will understand that will need to go to get branches and do it. The only time you set, like, branches or small resources, if you want, like, a good stockpile built up, you don't want them to run constantly run back and forth. That's more late game you want to do that, and this is early game talking about. So, if your items are left, left lying around, they'll decay and eventually be destroyed. To avoid that, your goblins will need a place to store items. Properly store items will decay slowly or not at all. Items be stored in the storage house or stockpile. If you click on an item and claim button means that the goblin will use it and store it properly. The nor button means they will Yep, yep. Basic thing. Okay, this is soil type. Fertile, this is what I want. Okay. This is fertile. This is right here is more or less non fertile. Right here it is. Shades, these more shady areas around the trees and whatnot. 
Civilization. Wares. None. Yep, you can turn... Right here, basically, so you can see what you're doing a little bit better. For now, I'm going to keep that on. Um, no goblins are fishing. Use the stockpile manager or... Yep. Look, here your stock. Here, we need fresh fish. So, for fresh fish, we want... Go... Yep. See everything here. Um, how many goblins do we have? There it is. No, those are spirits right here. Population is five, so we want at least five. Let's do six. One extra is a little bit always better. So let's have at least six. Um, no tools. Fishing is required for fishing. Oh, two. Yep. Um, we need fishing spears. Let's have two, one in pile, one not. And then right here is telling that we need a fishing work here. This right here is where we build. We build stuff. Go ahead, build. We want stockpiles there. Um, I'm not sure what the orange is, the purple there is for. Let's go back a little bit. Just because I'm going to clear out some trees and get some more logs. Um, and here is four logs and three things. Okay. I wish it actually tells you all it needs for it. It tells you a thing in there. It's just little details. But. Um, can I use the number keys to speed? I cannot. Okay. Speed up a little bit. We can build this a little faster. Um, one of the things I do know we need is a clay pit. Build. Oh, this is clay. Okay. I want more over here for clay, though. Let's go. Can I do it there? Yep, I can do it there. Yep, see, he's making spears. He's going to at least have two spears in the stockpile. Um, there's... There it is. Oh. New discovery technology. Clay can be uh, shaped in, and fired into durable earthware vessels like pots for storing and cooking food. Unlock clay. Unlock by clay pit. Unlock... Oh, scatter bug, a clay pot for goblins to drink from. Oh, okay. Uh, pottery shack. Reset yield, a workshop prepared fiber from plant materials. Oh, okay. Technologies learned is leather and spinning. Okay. You reach a, you reach a capital in the goblin camp. In order to determine... Um, to, Determine if the structure or an item can be accessed, or if a goblin is stuck somewhere. Game checks if it can find a path from it to the center of the camp. The center of the camp is either the, the gateway rock, or if it has been summoned, the sacrifice tree. If the game cannot find such a path, the structure is marked as unreachable. If you... So don't build your camp in such a way that there is structures that can't be reached from the gateway rock or structure tree. If a goblin is marked as unreachable, try to make sure that they have a path to the gateway or the rock sacrifice tree. Okay, that was just right there because a lot of people have been having troubles of my goblin's getting stuck. I can't do anything with it. So it's basically information to let you know that don't block this. If you're going to get the sacrifice tree in a place somewhere, don't block it. So again, don't block here, whatever, because you need this thing opened up. Okay. We're going to let them. So we're going to actually going to make go to stockpile earth pots. Way and decay in 36 months. A simple use pie used for cooking. And, yep. 
we're gonna have three of you. Oh, I need um battery. Fires a wheel of fire up. Yep, clay pots, clay structures here. Build you as well. Build you on this side here. I'm gonna try to keep it close to the, this stockpile right here for the time being. It's just because there's a shorter distance to get to things. And that's my thing right now. Let's wait for them to build that. It shouldn't take too long to build it. Okay, since the clay pot is done, now we can make, yep, there. Now we also need to make a kitchen before it gets too late. Let's go and kitchen. You'll remember they have to eat at the kitchen. There's three different spots they can come into, so we don't want to block it all off. Um, I'm going to put it more over here. Um, do I want it over there or do I want it over here by the warning? You can start fires and you can have forest fires and whatnot. So you need to be careful about where you put this and whatnot. And easy access. Water is here. We're not storing water, we're storing pots. So I sh this right here, I don't want I want to clean. You know what? Let's actually try to build where's pass. I built pass yet. Pass. Um, fences, stakes. There's somewhere down here, maybe we like building, stockpile. What am I missing to make pass? Maybe it's called roads? Production, resources, housing. Ooh, what's this? Curd butt. A clay pot for goblins to drink from. Ooh. Now uh, we'll do that in a second. Fortification, cultures. Looks like you can't do pass quite yet. Okay, so we're going to do it over here. We just be careful. There, let's build the kitchen. And then, oh, where are you at? There it is. We're gonna build this close by. There we go. Let's go through and speed it up to help it go a little faster. With... Alright. I like the details. You can actually see the goblins carrying it straight through and whatnot. Work, goblins work. Um, kitchen settings, population. Okay, yeah. See, it's telling we're not enough kitchens. We need housing, better housing. Um, total jobs is five. Goblins is five. Um, jobs per goblin is two, so we only have two different jobs here. This is our fishing for food, culture. Now, can we get into technology yet? Cannot remember. Nope, we need research. Um... 
Oh, it's right here. Research here. Um, research points is two. Reach point per se season is one. First year from Shaffer. Oh, so we need a tree to get research. Okay. Um, Shaman discovery. So yeah, before we can do these different paths, we did discover things in the world first before we can do research onto it. Once we do the basic in discovering the world, we can start doing research to get better into it and whatnot. So yeah, there is certain things we do have to find the world. And the research tree is really big. There's some things I'm a picture on. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, coming soon, coming soon. Something is coming soon whenever, but like really big. And I know they're still working on the research as well. I didn't realize researching paused everything. Okay. Here, allowed food waste. We're not going to allow it. Would be wasted. Um, jobs. Priority. Ooh, there's a lot to add to it. Let's go. Um, where's the cook? Oh, right here. Cook food is more gonna be higher priority. Um is there fish? Spear fishing is gonna be another one. Um military is oh yep, good high. But there's the two main ones that bring food to the kitchen is gonna be really high too. Um we don't keep that normal. Um, is there anything like fire, bonfire, bring sacrificing to? We didn't fire watch. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, uh, military draft. Okay, I was hoping to do. I think we can. Choose there. Okay. Let's go. Harvest. This new world can be a dangerous place. You should think about defending your camp for from enemies. Two kinds of defense are available at the start of the game. Fortifications and guard building. Fortifications can slow enemies down and make it harder for them to get them to get at your goblins or your building. You can also dig defense trenches, even even mortars, or make things higher, harder for them. Usually, though, you'll need guards to protect your camp. You assign guards as the at guard. You assign goblins to as guards by building a guard building, selecting your building to let you decide how your goblin guard is equipped. Guards will fight enemies who attack your camp. You can also draft goblins into temporary guards. Duty by using the draft button in the goblin window. Drafting goblins will equip them with the ne necessary improvement weapons, and it won't it won't use shields or armor. When building when building guard buildings, is more be mindful that not that not too many goblins are on guard duty, or otherwise to engage in work working in the camp where jobs will pile up quickly. I do remember you don't want too many jobs. Too many jobs at one time will make it where basically they just get overloaded, I think is the right term for it. So they're not sure what to do. Um, let's have it one right here. Go right there for one. Yep. Your jobs, you got one. No. No. Um, no number yet. Guard check. Oh, we already have a guard there. Here, see. Also, I like about something new is each goblin has stats and they can upgrade, they can level up and whatnot over time. 
They're hungry. This creature is hungry and needs food. Goblins prefer to eat at kitchens. Oh, hey, look, the guy's finally cooking. Um. I say it's a pause. Nope, they're just over here eating. Look at this. What their meals are eating. Really nice. The harvest that. Um. Overview. Oh, that's coming soon. Spells. We don't have spells right now, so we won't go into details of that. Um, change ground height. Clear Forna. Claim items. Cancel order. Nope. So we still can't. Okay, that's okay. Um, structure here. We have some, okay, there we got that. Red traps, a trap fish. Okay. Can I do this yet or no? Oh, I can't. Okay. I'm ready to just fish you just sitting on the edge of land. Your goblins have caught a glimpse of some overgrown ruins in the forest. You can find interesting and useful things in the ruins, but be careful. The ruins are likely to be deep in the forest covers. The forest c covers looks like fog on the map. If you, if you order your goblins into it, they will get lost. Forest covers can be cleared by cutting down trees, bushes, or building new raven statues. There are also more ruins on the map beyond the first ones, and they will consider the items worth discovering. Where is this rune at that they found? This. I can click on this, okay. Oh, that's really far out. How do they just. They might have just made it. Okay, so I need to start going out that way. I also need to be careful, though, because we're not sure what you're going to find. Ooh. Harvest you. Go. So basically, your Ravenstone here. You can't build in the fog. You had to build right outside. So you want to get close as you possibly can and recover as much as you can. can do anything with this? Yet? Nope. Oh yeah, I need houses. I knew I was forgetting something. I was like, what am I forgetting? Basic houses. I want to do basic houses over here. What camp is that? Where they can sleep at night. Let's go. One. Oh, forgot to do multiple. Shift does not work. We can this hold again. Ooh. More goblins arriving. World word of sets of your settlement has spread to the underworld. More goblins have decided to join you. If your camp has produced enough food to feed inhabitants and none of them have died recently, more goblins may decide to try out your luck in the middle world. If your camp has a shaman, they can also grow your population by casting summoning goblins. Um here it is. Here a single lock. It's a sample lean to with a fire offering some protection from element. Capacity is two. Okay. So they can hold two each. I have seven, so two, four. Six. Eight. We can have one more extra ability. There you go. Now we can actually have goblins here. Um, I got another, so I got two. This can here, I can upgrade the shacks. I'm not yeah, too big on that one right this minute. 
smoking. We got fish. Six. You need to just go for that. Housing your goblins have learned to build housing shacks from the elements. Unlock simple shack, kitchen shack, simple shed, simple hut. Technology planks and beams. Do I unlock planks and beams? Nope, I need here. So I need to build those there. You need the technologies of huts. You need beams. Sh okay, sheds, you need planks. So I need this for. So I basically need this here before I can get. Before I can get this, I can get that, but that's better to get first. Okay. Let's get. Turn off another multiple. Let's go Raven again. Try to get as close here as it'll allow you, and boom. We wanted to go and discover the, these ruins. I'm trying to get as far as I possibly can go. Get ready to place another one. For some reason, you're catching more fish than you're allowing to keep. We're almost there. Um. We're reducing our acquired. We're, we're negative. So we need to go to stockpile manager. Oh, we found apples. So let's actually make five, five delicious hard nut notes are fresh food and contain fat. Ooh. What is that? Go up. Here, goblins have learned to create weapons by defending themselves. Ooh, some of me to attack. There's probably a wolf hitting me. Um, new discovery. The goblins have discovered a dead animal cartridge and now can, can use it. Aha. They killed it. Um, the grave folk. Ooh, the grave folk attacking already. New discovery. Your goblin have discovered dwarven metal, a substance from a far south, softened in iron. Dwarven metal can be cold or just in metal can learn all kinds of things here. Unlock dwarven axe, steel hook. Digging bar, hoe, pick. Technology weapon smelting. Okay. Bees low. Air. Batter. This creature has taken a crushing damage. You need to build a fishing building to produce no work. Workshop there. Wait, did I kill my fishing shack? It broke my fishing shack. Oh, what do you mean? Um, go there. Let's go. Carpenter, that's what. Uh, Fisher. New one of you. I mean, you're all still eating. Oh, that's why I was getting less food. Birds, meat. 
just get two. Let's make this to ten. After this thing here, I'll have that. Um technology. I'll underspend you. Oh hunting is coming soon still. Okay. So, carpentry. Let's assemble track carpentry to transfer wood into useful items. Um, stone axe is going to pull. Build you. You can now have enough reach of points to discover a new technology signal. Yeah, I'll read that in a second. Let's get you first. You're gonna go flip this around. Oh, that's a fishing shack. That's different. Go around and put you. I clicked the wrong one. Place you right there. Technology is a button at the bottom of the screen. Okay, yeah. This is what I was doing there. Our research points can. You Session, you can get more research points by summoning sacrifice tree and making gotcha. So, this is what I was doing here doing the what is oh, right here early winter. So, new year, everything's turning winter, it's gonna start to snow. Um, we have fire going. Did someone just burnt something. Snow is going to be put up everywhere. Fish is harder to get. Go technology, and we need planks. Oh, we can't get this yet. Why can't we get this yet? Oh, because we need carpentry. We need that out. Sacrifice increase the camp's culture and level of the sacrificing tree. I'm also going to build this here because hopefully it helps out with stuff. There. Build you as well. You're almost done. I really like how it shows slowly showing up being built. You know, technically we don't have beams. Woods is the most pitiful variable material in the northern forests, and your goblins are learning how to make things up. All the things are useful. Okay. Um. So now I should be able to go here. Simple shacks. First, we need to learn this. We hopefully get more of that. We need this. Hopefully, right here, a we can get more culture before we can get more research stuff going. I'm hoping by the first this episode one, we're able to get at least shacks. Why are you red X? This creature has taken a pattern. Work speed. I'm gonna. Wooden spears. Sacrifices. Go. Culture points for sacrifices. Two, three. Bird meat is five. Food points is one. Morality bonus. 
Let's go. Um, you have not chosen an item to sacrifice. Um, quest zero. Are we saying, well, let me sacrifice anything yet? Sacrifice. I may need a shaman first. Maybe that's it. Can I build a shaman shack? Roads. Oh, we can build find new roads. Need lots of planks for that. Um Okay, smeltery wooden crib. Here. Let's go a weapon crafter so we can do Is this where we make the yeah oh, we need this go I'm gonna keep a space between all that. You know what? Only roads we can build. So we can't build dirt roads yet. Rotate this. There. Click multiple. I know they like the roads better. Let's go. Uh, let's go here and go cancel order there. Build more roads. Right there in the center. Okay. I wrote out again. Go. Play pits right there. Goblins have lots of jobs to do when you're telling your goblins to do something like building a structure, cutting down a tree. They get a job. Cutting down a tree is one job. Building a building, building a build is main job. Prepare the grounds. Getting you can see how many unfinished jobs your goblin has been unlocked. In numbers jump here. It shows the numbers of outstanding jobs per goblin. If the number is green, there aren't a lot of jobs. When it is yellow, there is several jobs. Per goblin, orange or red means there's a lot of jobs. You can see what jobs are outstanding by clicking on the job button at the bottom of the screen. It will show you the list of all the jobs you have available. Be careful not signing too many jobs. Yep. So this is what I was trying to get at. Try to build too many rows at one time. This is what I was trying to get at. If you make sure your jobs here was way too many. Each road. So I'm not sure if it's probably the ones because I counted there. Up there maybe or is it because each square i'm not 100 sure with that but you do need to watch out with that yellow is you're getting close you need to slow down and let it start to build stuff for it before you go any farther so there is that um at least one guy in your camp is hard-blooded and handy you can now build a sh uh, shaman shot if you do your goblins will elect a shaman sweet you have you you now have a goblin who is enlightened to a point shaman. A shaman is a ritual specialist who can commune with the spirits of the dead and access the underworld. The shaman can use vakra to cast spells. You can also you can unlock more spells by researching magical technologies. To point a shaman, build a shaman shock. Now this is what I want to get more into, but I want to. Ooh, those are really big birds. Can I click on those birds? Can I? But yeah. Yep, it's turning springtime. The snow is melting. But look at these roads. 
I wish the roads went one way, you can choose which way they go, and they don't go back and forth like this. So I'm not sure if they're going to imprint that in or not. Maybe if one of the devs see the video, I'm going to hope. Maybe they can comment down below if something they want to change. If it was possible to change, or if it's just how it's made to be. I also, I thought there was dirt paths you can do before. I'm um, in the beginning, but now you can't. You can only do these ones. That's okay to me. But I want some of these jobs to go down before I build a shaman shock. And why don't I have food? I have a fisher. Oh, because I have too many jobs going and no one's doing um jobs. Yeah, see? No one's doing the fishing. Now you have 20, two months, yep. Oh, I have 11 goblins. I didn't realize I got more goblins just came in. Gotcha. I didn't realize I got more goblins. That was all on me. Um, Can this here not? Storage settings. Limit. Hundred. Oh, I didn't realize this kind of store food here, fish here. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna keep here because there. I thought zero means you have a, a limited amount. I didn't realize you can only have a certain limit here. Ah, oh, sweet. See, your rows are coming out really good looking. Okay, I actually want to build a shaman now. Shaman hut. Build. We want this more in this. Go. Not there. We've been getting attacked by stuff there. Right here at work. Um. Oops. Ooh. Oh, look, guys, we get a point of shaman now. They dig it out already. They're doing clay pits. Okay. Okay, everybody, we're going to do, before we end this episode, episode one here, we're going to do the first sacrifice. It just showed up. We have a little shaman guy finally. Kiha. Is our shaman guy. Yeah, but we're not worried about that. We're going to do here. We can finally do there. I have selected. That's bone. We have selected there. Let's do. Three. I already have three in stock. Let's do three. You Because we do fish. We get fish points one. More bonuses. Mortal bonus. Um, We clay here. I can actually see what it. Culture points is two for it. We don't have no meats. Uh, what is these red? I'm not sure what the red is. But. Culture six and nine. Let's do that. And let's begin sacrifice. Oh, hello everybody. I didn't realize we already started here. It is burning the sacrifice here now. Yep. It's putting nothing. When you do start here, it's going to burn all this to ash. We're doing a sacrifice. We just did the sacrifice part. This is the forest fire, and I'm hoping you guys can put up enough fires. Run, goblins, run. Run, goblins, run. Hopefully this for right here. Doing a sacrifice. Let's see what we can get. Food slowly going back up. That's a good thing. Please, we need to technically get a new kitchen or there, but that's okay. So this is the sacrifice there. There's not a whole lot you can do yet. There's is spells. 
looking low earth rays but we'll get more in this season if you guys want to see the spells and whatnot you all come back next next time um i hope you all liked it and enjoyed this is goblin camp have a nice day everybody